Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to create a Windows to Go workspace. Um, one thing to note is this is only available on Windows 10 Enterprise or Windows um, 8 Enterprise, Windows 7 Enterprise. It has to be an Enterprise edition of Windows. Um, you can't do this on Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro or anything of that nature. So you have to be running Windows 10 Enterprise for this feature to work. So first thing you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to want to plug in a drive, a flash drive, a hard drive, um, preferably USB 3.0 um, that you want to use for installing your Windows to go workspace. That is requirement number one. Um, so I'm using a let's see, uh, USB 3 drive. Um, so I have that selected here. I'm going to click next on that drive and then you're going to want to choose your Windows 10 Enterprise um, image. This is an evaluation image for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, evaluation images are only good for 90 days. You cannot activate them after that so if you plan on using it I would recommend finding and downloading um, the full ISO from Microsoft. This one I downloaded um, to my my book for some reason it didn't want to show up here when I selected that folder it didn't want to search for it so I had to mount it which mounted it into a DVD, DVD drive and then I was able to select that as the search location and it found it. So we're going to go ahead and choose that right there. Click next. Um, if you want to set a bit, BitLocker password you can do that right here. We're not going to do that. And it's going to create that on the let's see, 3.0 drive. It's going to take a while, don't remove it. The drive is going to be reformatted and erase any data. Just letting you know of that. So it's going to prepare the USB drive. Um, just get rid of that because it's just wanting to reformat it for this computer. So it's going to apply the Windows image to that. Like I said, if you want to use this for more than 90 days or if you want to use it um, permanently as the Windows to go drive, you're going to want to download a non-evaluation copy of Windows. Like I said, you cannot activate an evaluation copy of Windows, so it is important that you do not install one for permanent file storage or anything like that because you will have to format it and erase it later. So we're going to let this go ahead and create everything on the drive and then we'll come right back. So this is taking a little bit of time to create the um, uh, image and put it on the disk. One thing I just wanted to throw out there real quick is I don't really understand why this is a enterprise feature and an enterprise feature only. Um, I would see this being more useful if it was included in like Windows 10 Pro, being it more of a, um, you know, something a, a regular home Pro user would, would like to use, seeing how it allows you to take your desktop on the go. The way Microsoft describes it is it allows you to put your desktop in your pocket um, on a USB flash drive or hard drive and plug it into a laptop or a desktop somewhere and boot from it um, and boot to your own files and your own desktop operating system on any computer. So why that's only included in Enterprise, which, which normally general people don't have access to, seeing how Microsoft doesn't just sell a retail copy of it, it has to be a volume licensing or something, um, generally only sold to like corporations or businesses. Um, I don't know why you know people like that, they wouldn't generally be doing this at work, um, I don't think, unless it was something they used for specifically for their work. Um, but I definitely think if they included this in Pro, it would be a lot better. Um, seeing how it's just, I see it more of a professional, you know, option and it would be useful to a lot of people. But that being said, like I said, it is only available in Windows 10 Enterprise right now and that's how it has been for the past, you know, few years since they came out with it. Um, like I said, it is taking a bit of time here, it just jumped ahead a little bit, um, but I'll come back once that's done and we'll walk through the rest of the steps. Okay, so it just, it just completed here and it will ask you if you want to automatically boot this computer from your Windows to go workspace. I'm going to leave it on no because I don't want this computer to boot from it every time I boot it up. So we're just going to go ahead and go save and close and it's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in to another computer and try it and make sure it works. If everything's all good to go, this is going to be the end of the video. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below.